sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. The next preview on the docket for the next week after non-con, after the Army game, they'll play a Baylor team that last year might have only won one game. But, oh, baby, you look at them offensively, you say, how did this team only lose, well, only win, I'm sorry, one game, finishing just 1-11. But the one win is coming in conference play at a 1-8 record after beating embarrassing Kansas in Lawrence. Find out what I mean next. The Baylor preview for this year in Boomer Sooner Land. Coming up next, don't go away. Hail, Boomer Sooner, everybody. My name's Harry James. The next team on the docket list for the Sooners will be the Baylor Bears, who are from Waco. They played their home games at uh, McLean Stadium. With last year, guys had just a dismal one and eleven record in the twelve games. They did, however, get their one win in conference play, a 38-9 win in Lawrence over the Rock Chalk Jayhawks. Their head coach, their new ruler in his second year is Matty Rule. But, you know, Matt's problem, not offensively. Because they had not, last year, guys, they had not one, but two 1,000-yard passers. The one returning for the 2018 class is Charlie Brewer. Passed for 1,500, or the number 12 Charlie, Charlie Brewer, who threw for, there we go, 1,562 yards, 11 touchdowns, and just less than a handful of interceptions at four. The offensive game, rushing-wise, of course, for Baylor, not what they have been known for. Matt Rule was trying to get back to that and did a okay job with that. With number seven, John Johnny or John Lovett, and number three, Jamichael Hasty. We'll start with seven, John Lovett who had 98 carries when it all ended last year, 445 yards, and five touchdowns. While Joe Michael Hasty had seven, just a uh, few less at 76 carries, did have 314 yards in, on the ground and pound for just one touchdown. Now, they had two 1,000-yard passers last year, uh, one returning they, ha they do also have one of those 1,000-yard receivers returning. The one returning, uh, Denzel Mims. 61 receptions for the aforementioned 1,000 uh, and 87 yards to match with eight touchdowns. He's a huge mismatch. Uh, number three, Pooh Strickland. Uh, also is returning 32 care uh, receptions last year. 414 yards, and just one touch down. Not really what they're known for, but you got to get stops if you're going to win games. Uh, so Jonathan Clay and Harrison Hand are the two guys to keep your eye on on that defensively. Uh, number 44 for Baylor, 
Clay Johnson, we'll start there. 54 total tackles by the end of last year. Did force a fumble. Didn't have any fumbles recovered or any interceptions for a men's linebacker slot. Defensive back is also in there in leading tacklers from last year. 31 Harrison Hand, 42 tackles. Didn't have any fumbles forced or fumbles recovered. Though, however, from his defensive back position, he did have an interception, as you would expect in the Big 12 Conference, with us spreading it out so much. As we've already talked about it, their head coach is Matty Rule. He's a 1997 grad from Penn State with Joe Paterno. Uh, coaching history from 2013 to 2016. He was in the what that was then the uh, Big East at Temple before coming to the Big 12 in 2017 and helping Baylor get back on track. 2017 to present. An overall record by the end of it, 29 and 34. That is a 46.0% winning clip. 0-1 uh, in ball appearances. Zero uh, in, or is uh, or I guess 0-0 oh oh is uh, in bowl appearances is while well, well, he is at Baylor. His uh, second year at Baylor. Uh, zero divisional titles for the Bears, but in his Bear time, the whole time with the Bears, they do have two conference titles since entering, since the Big 12 was uh, came up with again, rebranded. Got one in 2013 when it was rebranded. That was the outright title. Got another one in 2014 when it was rebranded, but had to tie it with Baylor. I mean, uh, TCU, I'm sorry. Baylor won the outright and the right to play in the uh, the New Year's Bowl system. Did Baylor as being the outright Big 12 champ. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry James. Next week, we'll head down to the 40 acres, even though the game's never played there in Austin. By the way, their stadium is named after a former Sooner. Think about that for a second. Just saying. Speaking of Sooners, everybody. Thanks for watching. You can catch this and all my other previews on the YouTube. Boomer Sooner 1982. They're also up on my YouTube uh, uh, Facebook account. Sorry, Harry James Taylor. Or on my Twitter, at Hype Man Harry. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, speaking of the Sooners, Boomer Sooner, everybody. See y'all next week. As we preview Texas, I'm out of here. Peace.